to the Vatican. Uh, we have our Rome correspondent, Alex Salvi, standing by. Alex, what do you have for us? Carl Christina, the Vatican confirming the passing of Pope Benedict at his residence earlier today at 95 years old. The Holy See spokesman, Matteo Bruni, issuing a statement saying, quote, with sorrow, I inform you that Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th passed away today at 934 in the Mater Ecclesiae Monastery in the Vatican. Of course, it's gaining worldwide attention. And one person that I'm standing here with right now, I mean, he's a who's who of Vatican City. Uh, he's the author of the book, Six Popes, fittingly named because he's worked with six popes. In fact, as the world focuses their attention right here, you were mentioning that your office for 26 years was right here. So I just want to get your response to the news of Pope Benedict passing this morning. Yes, uh, it is emotional for me to be here. I mean, my office is right there. You know, it's a big window, you know, facing the St. Peter's Basilica and, uh, and the square. And how many times I have seen uh, Cardinal Ratzinger crossing this uh, square, going to his office for so many years. He, he actually went to his office for 27 years as Cardinal, still. Cardinal, not a not a pope, and not thinking that he would become pope one day would be elected pope. And this man is really uh, giving us great sadness, but also great satisfaction for the wonderful work that he has done. He has done a tremendous job. It would take us hours, you know, just to respond to your quest and see how much uh, he has done. Not. Only, not only for the church, but we're talking about the immense, uh, uh, I would say, influence that had on the world as such. Almost, I would say, notwithstanding the fact that he was kind of a different uh, pope than John Paul II, you know, but we all have our personal characteristics that we have to do. And and so I, I feel, I feel that he really embrace the world in his own way. At the beginning, he was kind of shy, but then, you know, even when he came uh, uh, to the United States, you know, in 2008, you know, his visit really, and to the United Nations also made a, a great impact in the history of the church, not only in the United States, mm -hmm. as a whole and in the world. And as you mentioned, I mean, he had big shoes to fill. He took over after Pope John Paul II. Almost a million people came here to the Basilica at, during that passing. So when he took over in 2005, uh, there was a lot of pressure on him. They didn't know necessarily what type of pope he would be, what direction that the church was going in. You've worked with six different popes throughout your history here at the Vatican yes. itself. So what really stands out to you about Benedict? What will his legacy be now, uh, after this day forward? Now, th this is what I would like uh, uh, people to know, our uh, audience to know. You know, they, he... At the beginning, actually, did not know that eventually he would be elected. I feel, as I mentioned probably in my book, you know, that he did not really want to be elected, you know, but then he took it as the will of God. And, and then he went on to make the impact in those eight years of his pontificate. He made the difference in the history of the church and of the world. I, I feel that we should consider him to be one of the leading. Uh, popes together with the other popes. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, many people are asking me, you know, uh, who was the, of these six popes? No, uh, to me, each one had his own uh, uh, providential plan sure. put into action by God Almighty. And that's when the spirit guided them to do it. And they he did a splendid job and, and will continue to do so. And there's no doubt that he did step up to the plate, for lack of a better term. I mean, uh, taking over to the church at a time where its direction was really up for debate as well. Right. Uh, we do know that his funeral will be held on January 5th. That's something we're going to be looking at as well. His body will lie in state beginning on January 2nd. So still a lot of things to be determined up to that point. But Monsignor Definitely. Franco, thank you for joining us. Carl, Christina, I'll send it back to you. Thanks.